What's going on Algebra Bros? It's Mr. C here and in this video I'm going to show you how to divide two polynomials. In other words we're going to divide 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 by x plus 2 via the process of long division. And I certainly hope you have a pair of glasses lying around because glasses certainly help with division. Anyway enough joking around let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, so we're taking 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 and dividing it by x plus 2. What I'm going to do is draw a little division hut down here, much like you'd see when you're dividing two integers. And we're dividing by x plus 2, which qualifies it as the divisor. So that's going to go out in front of our division hut, which means that the 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 polynomial, in other words, the dividend, is going to go inside the division hut. So once you have all that drawn out, you move on to do the long division process. What you want to take a look at first are the first two terms in each of these polynomials. Uh, looking at the dividend, the first term is 3x squared. And in the divisor, the first term is x. And what you want to do is ask yourself, self, how many x's would fit into 3x squared? In other words, what could you multiply x by to get 3x squared? Now, if that answer is not immediate, don't worry. What you can do is some scratch work. And what you'd want to do to figure that answer out is write 3x squared on top of x and simplify. Now that simplifies to 3x. The 3x is actually going to be our first term that we write on top of the division hut. And I'm going to write it on top of negative 5x just to keep organized in column fashion. And the 3x represents our first term in our quotient. You may remember that an answer to a division problem is the quotient. And there's no difference here with long division of polynomials. We still get a quotient, um, etc. Now what you want to do is take 3x and multiply it to your divisor of x plus 2. And I'm going to introduce some scratch work for that as well. Let's take 3x and we'll multiply it by the quantity x plus 2. Distribu uh, distribution would yield 3x squared plus 6x. What we're going to do with 3x squared plus 6x is write it underneath the dividend. So 3x squared plus 6x. Next what we want to do is subtract in column format. So what I'm going to do is draw a little equal bar here, a little minus sign, and then surround these two terms in parentheses. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that we know to subtract in both of these columns. But subtraction can get a little bit dicey, especially when you've got a lot of negatives going on. So one option for you, which might make things easier, is to, instead, instead of subtracting, change this to addition, and then change the signs with both these terms in here. So now we're just adding in column format. We're adding the opposites of those terms. So check this out. Let's now add 3x squared to negative 3x squared. What's that going to give you? A whole lot of nothing, right? In other words, they cancel each other out. Adding negative 5x to negative 6x gives us negative 11x. And the very last thing in this part is to drag down the positive 1. It is possible to fit x into negative 11x, so what that means is we're going to have to do another round of this. So to figure out how many x's fit into negative 11x, let's kind of emulate what we did in that last step and see just exactly, you know, what would we have to multiply x by to get negative 11x, or in other words, how many times does x go into negative 11x. So scratch work again. Let's write negative 11x all over x. Simplifying gives us negative 11. And that negative 11 is going to be the next term in our quotient. So now it looks like 3x minus 11 on top of the division hut. Now take negative 11 and multiply it to the divisor of x plus 2. Scratch work for that. Distribution would give us negative 11x minus 22. And that's going to go underneath negative 11x plus 1. All right, what do we do from here? We subtract. So equal bar minus sign, set of parentheses. And again, to make it a little easier on yourselves, instead of subtracting, how about we just add the opposites? So when we add in column format, we have negative 11x plus 11x, and you're going to see that those cancel. Adding 1 and 22 gives us 23. 
All right, and that's where the pain and torture, I'm sorry, the fun and excitement ends for the long division process because it wouldn't be possible to fit x into just the constant 23. So that's the process of long division. I want to carry this a little bit further though to help you identify the important parts here and what it allows us to do in terms of re-envisioning the problem. You just change pen colors real quick. All right, first of all, uh, the x plus two, that is an important ingredient for what I want to do in just a moment. That's the divisor, which I'm going to label that as, pos or, I'm sorry, capital V. The three x minus 11, I've been hinting at this all along, that is our quotient also called a quotient polynomial. And then the 23, uh, since this is where we stop, that's gonna be our remainder, which I'll label as capital R. So what long division allows us to do, much like with long division of two integers, is to rewrite an improper fraction into a mixed number format. And it's kind of a similar thing that we can do with these polynomials. Uh, for example, one way of rewriting this problem or re-envisioning it is to take 3x squared minus 5x plus one and write it all on top of x plus two. And here it's kind of like an improper fraction in the sense that the, uh, the degree of the polynomial on top is two, whereas you know, x plus two, the highest power in x here is one. So technically it's kind of like an improper uh, fraction in the polynomial world though. Um, what we can do is rewrite this in the format quotient plus remainder over divisor, which for now I'll just use the letters. So capital Q plus capital R over capital D. And since we know the specific expressions for these, we can go ahead and replace them. So specifically, uh, the quotient is 3x minus 11. The remainder is 23. So I'm writing 3x minus 11, so the q part plus the r part is 23, and then that's gonna be resting on top of the d part or the divisor x plus two. And that's how we can use long division to rewrite um, a division problem uh, involving polynomials, specifically uh, rewriting it in like a mixed number format, so to speak. All right, that's it in this video. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.